Oh, good day, gang. Oh no, the dailies failed. <laughs> the old pulsar. Yeah, N14. 1994, 1600 engine, 205,000 kilometres. It's had one set of pads put in it in its life, on it in its life, which is still a bit left there. Still on the original rear brake shoes, which are drums. Still on the original muffler. I don't know if you can see Nissan written on it. I can't. I can't see. I'm just pointing at nothing there. Poor old turd, never let me down. One clutch I put in it, fuel pump failed one time <clears throat> because I, oh, look out. Yeah, it's not one of mine. Fuel pump failed because I let it run too low. So I can't fail the car on that. But this thing has been faultless. Yeah. Oil's not bad. Got a bit of weepage down here. Original hose, original cap, original, 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 original. Does have a K&N in there, not the original battery. Original cap, original, well, not lead. Well, yes, leads are original. Um, spark plugs are not. Um, fuel filters not, you know, service items are not. But one clutch, uh, one fuel pump, and normal service, and that's that's all this car's ever ever had. One set of brake pads. That's all this car's ever had. Until the other day when we had the rain, and I uh, I, I said to Miss, you know, I parked up here in the night. I went to drive the car in the, the next morning, and uh, and she didn't want to she didn't want to start, and. Uh, Uh, anyway, sorry, I've just got to watch these little kids in this street here. They're, uh, especially when you've got goofs like this. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, you be careful. You be care. You be careful. Don't go on the road. Okay? Good girl. All right. So... It let me down. My first instincts were that uh, knowing these things, nine out of ten times, you lose the ignition. It's going to be the module in the in the distributor or the pickup coil. Nine out of ten times. Um, so I, I come out to have a look and see what was going on, and. It's been starting intermittently, so I, I just went and threw a set of spark plugs in it for the for the sake of it, you know, and uh, and then give her the crank over, and no, she wouldn't run. And I thought, well, maybe we have gone down to this. The thing has been intermittent, see? That's what's put me off. And when these usually fail, it's usually when they're hot. But when the module fail, they're hot, not when they're cold. So as I processed more and more and more and more. The next thing we do is we look for sparks, so we are either going to have a spark from the coil, you know, from the coil lead, we can pull the coil lead off, we can just jump the jump the coil lead across and see if we get anything coming out of that. And so of course we know we know what things should look like. There, I mean it's a nice clean, nice clean coil there. But then when I pull the pull the uh, lead off the cap. She's uh, she's uh, somewhat crusty in, <laughs> in there. Yeah, that's just expanded and exploded with corrosion over 25 years. Hey, eh? original cap, no more. She's going to get a new cap now. I'm still going to keep the original leads on it, but uh, quite pleased that's uh, that's not a module because. Um, I wouldn't buy a second-hand one. You'd have to buy a new distributor. That's like five or six hundred dollars. And crikey, the thing doesn't even owe me that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, happy days for Zig. I'll see you later. Have a good one. Cheers.